Hi, I'm here to watch the Adams Family. As you saw in the intro, I went to see Adams Family, directed by Conrad Vernon and Greg Tiernan. The movie is about, well, that's one of my criticisms of this film. More on that later. The main plot has the Adams family living in isolation in New Jersey after moving there many years prior when they escaped from people who didn't approve of their lifestyle. Yeah, I know that was a long sentence. They live their creepy lives with a butler who looks like Frankenstein, the mom Morticia who has octopus legs, their teenage daughter, little boy, a hand, a pet lion, and other family members. While the father Gomez prepares his boy for a rite of passage, the daughter is having an existential crisis because she's bored of being part of the family and wants a life outside of their property. Meanwhile, a town is constructed down the hill from the house as part of a game show that's hosted by Margot, a seemingly nice woman who turns out to be even crazier and more monstrous than the Adams family. I've skipped a lot of details here because I want to get to my criticisms of the movie. First of all, this is a kid's movie and yet there are so many complex themes tossed around, even I got lost. By the end of the movie, I didn't even know what it was about. Was it about how outsiders are often seen as dangerous? Was it a movie just for laughs? Was it about how social media can be abused? Was it about a teen girl having trouble fitting in? Was it about accepting people for who they are? You see what I mean? There are too many topics packed into a single movie and it's a movie for kids. Normally kids need a simplified storyline in a way they can digest the plot. There were indeed some funny parts but I was bored. And then I asked my 7 year old and 9 year old what they thought of the movie. Drum roll please. They each said, I was bored. So this movie is boring for the target audience, which is kids. Because there were too many themes throughout and because it was an extremely boring movie, not just for me, but for my kids who are in fact in elementary school, I'm giving it a rating of three out of 10. It's not the worst movie ever, but it's definitely not one to be excited about.